Good day. Welcome to our latest Fixed Income Market Outlook podcast. My name is Chang Wei Ming, Head of Fixed Income Strategy at RHB Bank, Group Treasury and Global Markets. For today's podcast, we will be providing updates on the US Fed's recent monetary policy outlook, echoing further dovish tone, which is expected to bode well for Asian local currency bonds, given the better yield pickup coupled with the weaker US dollar outlook amid prospects for US policy rates to remain near zero until end 2023. At the recent concluded September FOMC meeting, the US Fed continued to echo further dovishness with plans to maintain the US Fed funds target rate at ultra low levels near zero until end 2023. In terms of inflation outlook, the US Fed's new long-term policy framework will allow inflation to overshoot the 2% target after a period of subdued levels. The higher inflation outlook tolerance suggests US policymakers are focusing on boosting employment and US labor markets amid the increased downside risk to growth from the COVID-19 pandemic impacts. The latest US Fed dot plot shows that 13 Fed officials expect the Fed funds rate to remain near zero as policymakers continue to favor accommodative monetary policy rates to support growth and economic activities. On a related note, the US Fed concurrently has revised its forward guidance on growth, inflation and unemployment levels respectively. Going forward, the US Fed signals a less sanguine growth outlook compared to previous June forecasts, but expects a slower contraction in 2020 following the infusion of monetary policy tools and fiscal support provided. Meanwhile, US unemployment levels are expected to improve as the Fed is expected to focus on improving the US labor markets. Given the extended dovishness in the US Fed monetary policy outlook, the US Treasury curve continues to mirror a deepening curve trend as short end of the curve is expected to remain low, anchored as the US key policy rate is expected to remain lower for longer. Meanwhile, long end of the curve has deepened amid increased supply of longer dated US Treasuries for the financing of fiscal support to revive growth outlook. Spreads of 10-year US Treasuries have widened to 54 basis points from previous 40 basis points back in early August. In the longer dated spaces, spreads of 30-year US Treasuries versus 2-year US Treasuries have widened to 130 basis points from previous 110 basis points back in early August. In the ringgit bond space, Despite the modest BTC prints from the recently concluded government bond auctions, the average year-to-date BTC remains healthy at 2.22 times. The modest prints from the recent four government bond auctions ranging between 1.3 times to 1.5 times are expected to be rather transient, as compelling values have started to emerge for the long end of the ringgit bond curve. Similar to the US Treasury curve, the local ringgit sovereign curve has tilted to a curve steepening trend. The spreads of 30-year benchmark MGS versus 3-year benchmark MGS have widened to around 205 basis points at time of writing, reinforcing our views that value is emerging for the long end of the ringgit bond curve following the steepening trend. Meanwhile, the recent 3 billion 30-year GI reopening auction saw tender results with low, average and high results of 3.98%, 4.17% and 4.35% respectively. Post-auction, investors saw value emerging for the 30-year GI with levels soon trading back tighter as investors saw attractive valuations from the higher yields. Going forward, the extended dovishness in the US Fed monetary policy outlook is expected to provide positive catalysts
for Asian local currency bonds, including the ringgit bond segment, as the hunt for yields continues, as well as tactical investment strategies given a weaker dollar outlook. We hope this episode of our podcast has been useful. Thank you and please continue to stay tuned to upcoming podcast series in the coming months as we continue to share more updates in the fixed income space.